You've heard of sumo wrestling, right? Gorons like to max, match strength in sumo contests. Luckily for you, the basics are like stopping and charge and go. Do you want to hear more? No, I already know how it works. It's fairly simple. Punch and push. Punch is B, push is A. You can counter a punch with a push and it gives you an advantage. Awesome. So this is fairly simple. All you gotta do is just jab the buttons and then, yeah, just be, here, I'm gonna punch him off like that. <laughs> so yeah, it took like no effort at all. And yeah, you can move around too, but there you go. You seem to understand the basics. Alright, next time I won't go easy on you. Admittedly though, uh, I'm not gonna say I hate the concept, but I think it's a bit odd and out of place. That's about it. Oop, see, there you go, he countered me. And then you jab A to counter his pushing. So we just counted it right back on him. Oh, damn, he's... We're, we're sure pushing each other, all right. Ouch, that hurt. No, 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 no. Stay away from the edge, Lankington. Ouch. I don't even care if you get punched, just don't be by the edge. Push him now. There you go. There you go, we got a Link. Push his fat ass over. Nothing gay about two big, greasy men rubbing up against each other in their underwear. Whoa, not too shabby. With your natural talent, I'm sure you can take on the Gorons. Strong as you are, though, you can't hope to beat the Gorons' wrestling power alone. The Gorons are made of rock. Now, the secret to beating the Gorons is locked away in that chest. Take it with you. Now, here's one thing before I open the chest that I have to ask. Why the shit does he have this arena inside of his house? Like, is this some sort of hot spot where people, like, come over and they just watch each other sumo wrestle, or is he just odd? Anyway, you get one of my favorite items in all of Zelda, the Iron Boots! You can probably tell the boots are made of iron, lad. Whenever you wear them, no one will get pushed around, even by a Goron. If you're fixing to fight a Goron, be sure to wear those boots. Let's be square, though, lad. You can't tell anyone about those boots, especially him. Well, I love the iron boots, and what makes it even better is that they're an X, Y, yeah, an equip item, so you don't have to worry about the whole pause menu stuff. They eliminated that. And what makes it even better is they went all out with the iron boot physics in this game. I love it. It is amazing. Like, gravity actually applies, plus they add in more things. Like, you know in Ocarina of Time, you'd jump off a ledge, you'd add, um, you'd put on the iron boots, you wouldn't fall any faster. Well, you fall faster in this game, plus you don't casually swim down underwater. You damn well sink. So they fixed up the iron boots and made it interesting as all hell. And as cool as it was that they put it in Wind Waker, I find it kind of pointless because you couldn't go underwater, you'd just die. No fooling. The tots are safe. The tots. On top of that, they're on Kakariko. Oh shucks, you don't need to worry about that now. You're, uh, well, anyway, if you talk to this guy, how about it? you want to hurt up the dogs? Yes. So I know you wouldn't originally think, oh, hey, let's go herd some goats, because we've already done it twice, and I wouldn't blame you for not wanting to do it. However, I do advise you do it, so it it'll be worth your while in the end. And yes, I was right the old beta thing did say yeehaw. In all honesty, I don't like that word. Because it affiliates with Texas, which to me affiliates with country music, which I hate. I loathe country music. Beyond everything in my body. For some reason it seemed like more than just that. Like it should have been... Can you move? Thank you. Don't you dare go anywhere else. Go that way, go that way, go this way. And a fun fact for you, um, country music has caused more suicides than any other music genre. Okay? Just thought you would be interested in knowing that. Go in, thank you. Well, hey, at least we're making good time, except for this jerk who wants to be off to the side. Go. 
Go! Under a minute. I'm the best. There's no timeline, but just as so long as you get it done, you get it done. So it's alright. Thanks to you earlier, as promised, here's a little gift. And there you go. You get your fifth piece of heart. That reminds me, actually. I forgot something else. So <laughs> There's another thing in Hyrule Field that I was looking for, and then I just got distracted by the golden bugs. So I'm actually going to go find that. Until then, I'll transition over. Anyway... Here I am back, and right over to there, if it would, opponent would have stopped moving, we would have had this issue So, Oh, well, hey, it worked out anyway. <laughs> I could see Link holding it as I was confused. Right over there is a piece of heart you can get. You can get it in a much more difficult way later, but most people have found out that you don't even need to do it like that. All you need is the gale boomerang, and bam, you're set. Now, if we could, I'd like to get in here before it becomes goddamn sunset because otherwise the store is closed and there's something I want to get and I know it's a little secret that I want to show on how to get easy money too so if we could Alright, now just a thought. I don't understand why the kid pushed her out of the way and then just stood there. Anyone with common sense would have pushed her out of the way and then got out of the way themselves. If you save someone from a moving car, you don't stand there in front of the car and be like, Oh, I guess I'll get hit instead. No, you save yourself as well, you dumbass kid. Holy shit. You deserve this for being stupid. I mean, it's cool you saved the bitch. You could have just shouted at her. She probably wouldn't have listened, but you, you don't push someone and then just stand there like, Oh, just not all the wealth! Anyway, this is one of the more epic battles inside of the game, and I know it's not a word I enjoy using or choose to use very often, but I can't really think of any other way to describe it gonna need to do is whip the hell out of opponent and then if you can get close enough you start chipping away at him but obviously I'm not doing that very well now am I plus you got all these guys all over the place because you know that hey you're not allowed to do that I'm link you forget yourself whoa oh okay I thought that was me again um where did he go that way he's just standing there mocking me Chop him! There you go. That's a start. Loosen up his armor now. Oh, he turned, like, viciously. Come on, Link. Do it for the loser kid. He's just trying to get attention and trying to be cared about, even though no one really does. I don't have any things. And these guys are all over the place. And yeah, you can kill them. Not the pigs. The pigs can't be killed. But if you get off the horse, you can go ahead and kill these guys, give them the final blow. And that'll really be the only way of actually doing it. We could. Whoa, I did not see that one coming. Haha, <laughs> Pona, you were there. You could have hit him. You're slowing down now because you're tired. Like a horse who has stamina or something. What are you doing? Whoa. Alright, you are not the guy I'm after. Nor are you guys. I don't even know where the hell he went. 
because he's busy being a dumb over there. He's like, oh, look at me. I'm a dumb. If we could please. I only need like two more hits. If that. I swear to God, this guy is just being dumb now. Whoa, where did he go? I got confused with these other guys, because there's like a thousand of them. It's not so much that they're unlimited, they're just unkillable. Finally. Now, I never fail to mess this up, and anytime you do, it's basically like an automatic, oh hey, this guy's bigger than you, he's got a fat ass pig, and he's a fat ass, so therefore he knocks you off the bridge. So you don't want to come in physical contact with him, which makes it irritating, because you got to turn, and if you turn, you can't hit him. So admittedly, I don't like this, but you got to do what you got to do, right? And that's why I say I never fail to mess up, because I always get hit at least once. There you go. At least we got a hit in that time. Doesn't take much to hurt him. If you would turn! Thank you, horse. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Is everyone okay? Good. Beth, I'm sorry, you know, for throwing you. Are you mad? I think I finally understand. I understand what my dad meant when he told me he, I needed to be stronger like you. See, not even your dad likes you. He wants you to be like me. He wasn't talking about strength like lifting stuff. He was talking about being brave. Save me, didn't you? You can do anything. You can do something to help the Gorons in the mines, too, can't you? <laughs> 